zucchini pizza casserole. It is a family hit. Come join me as we put it together. We're using our rapid press mandolin. We're going to be finely shredding three zucchinis. It's easily done on the number two dial and on the french fry cut. Once we have our zucchini shredded to where we want them, we're going to toss them into our plastic mixing bowl. We are then going to generously coat them with salt. That is going to help draw out all of the excess water inside of the zucchini. Let that set for about 20 minutes. While that is setting, we're going to finish preparing the rest of our vegetables. We're going to add in sweet peppers and we're also going to be dicing an onion in the rapid press mandolin to add to our hamburger mixture. We also need to shred cheese. We're going to shred 8 ounces of mozzarella and 8 ounces of sharp cheddar. This is going to be the base for both our zucchini crust as well as a topping on our zucchini casserole. In our 12 inch nonstick skillet, we have a removable handle which is perfect for cooking on the stove top and then transferring to the oven. We're using a pound and a half of hamburger. I'm also going to be adding the onion midway through the cooking process. You can see our zucchini has um, water that we need to drain off. So we're gonna toss that into our stainless steel mesh colander. Once we get everything out of the bowl, we wanna make sure that we give the zucchini and the colander a few good squeezes. That's going to help get all of the excess water out. Then add two eggs, as well as a cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. I keep mine stored in the leak-proof glass container. We're also gonna be adding in mozzarella cheese that we shredded. We'll also be adding in two seasonings, the everything but the pizza seasoning and Italian seasoning. We'll add about one teaspoon of each. All of our seasonings are 100% gluten-free and many are also dairy-free, so it is a perfect combination with a lot of robust flavor. Put this in the bottom of our 12-inch skillet and then we're going to bake it in the oven at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. Remember the great thing about this is we can toss it in the oven and pop the handle off and then we'll put the handle back on to safely remove it from the oven. In the meantime, we're gonna be adding to our hamburger onion mixture one can of crushed tomatoes. I love this can opener, what about you? Mix that in there. Give it a thorough mix. And then we're also going to add in a half a teaspoon of the everything but the pizza seasoning and a half a teaspoon of the Italian seasoning, just for a little more flavor punch. When our zucchini bake comes out of the oven, we're going to put the hamburger mixture on top of the zucchini bake, and then we're going to add the rest of our cheeses. And don't forget our peppers. Bake it for 20 minutes. When it comes out of the oven, it is so crispy. The cheese is perfect. The crust is amazing. You will absolutely love this. This will become a family favorite. Enjoy.